Hey ladies and gents, I am coming to you with the Butterbee Scraps Design Team Project and I decided to do some embellishments. Um, I am in the need of some embellishments. So let me first show you what I got in my design team package. I figured, you know, let me start showing what I do get. Monique lets us pick what we want, which is awesome. So let me go ahead and show you. I wanted to pick some new stuff that she put in the store. And um, these right here are Uber Uber. They're gold clips, wooden paper or clothes pins. And um, these are the ones I used in the project you'll see. She also has these really beautiful hearts, <coughs> excuse me, that are um, bronze. Super cute. It's gloomy today, you know, it's only 1.30 out here. So sorry that um, it, I have to use my odd light. So, and then I got these. And I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out the center part and I'm gonna make butterflies out of these ones. These ones are much bigger than the ones I've made before. I needed to restock on some of these head pins. I needed to restock on some of, these are the bronze, excuse my nails, I gotta do them tonight. <laughs> um, these are the bronze rondelles and these are the small ones. I needed, I just used the last of them. Okay, now the awesome thing is, is she is now carrying beads. You have no idea how beyond excited I am of that. So I'm hoping she gets more. So these ones right here are teal green. These are seven millimeters. They're amazing. And she has those in three different sizes. And yes, I had to get all three different sizes in four millimeter and six millimeter. So it's seven, six, and four millimeter beads. And these are the round ones. I love, love these. Okay, then I'm not a big fan of red, but I think I'm starting to like it a little bit now. So I did grab the seven millimeter round red, and also these ones are four millimeter in the round. And they're all the same shape, all the beads that I'm gonna show you. This right here is a rose pink and a seven millimeter. And then she has the rose pink in a four millimeter. Okay, and then here's the teardrops. These are ABs, and these are Uber. And the eight millimeter, these ones right here are six millimeter clear. And then I got the gray in a seven millimeter, and I got, also got it in a four millimeter. So they're called pearl gray. They're beautiful. Okay, then I got these right here. I love these. You're going to see I use these on my project. You could use them as earrings also, but I did not use them for that. I didn't do jewelry. Had to give that a break. Um, and I also have these also in gold. I'm loving that she has gold stuff. These I have eyeballed for months and never got it until I got into the gold phase. She has these and they are really super inexpensive. So I was really happy to get these gold hearts. They're metal hearts. So these are really super stinking cute. I use these in the project also. I had to re-up on my chain. So I requested for some chain. Then she also has these huge mama jamas. I don't think she has the millimeters on these ones. But these are like a copper color bead. They're beautiful. She's had these in the store for a while. Then I also got, this is the Love Struck. I'm gonna do something for Valentine's Day. And these are all the charms that are um, for this package. And these are, and then I also got this right here. This is Black Agate. And this is a real stone. It's not a um, plastic or like a fake pearl. So you'll see that's six millimeter. Okay. So this is all the stuff that I got in my DP package this month. Oh yeah. And I also got my absolute favorite bead caps. I order these all the time because I use them all the time. These are really small ones and they're bronze and they're uber stinking cute. So I got those. Okay. I also use, this is out of previous packages in my project uh, you're gonna see right now 
is I have the angel wings and I have the dragonfly wings in silver. I have the angel wings in bronze. These she used to carry in the store. She doesn't, she no longer carries them, but anybody, if you have cabochons or if you're making your own, like I do make my own too, you could use those also, but I wanted to use these ones. I love them. And then I also use the silver head pins and I also use, these are AB's um, rondelles. So these are what I use. Okay, that was a lot to show, right? Oh, and I used some of these right here. Alrighty, let's get this party started. Okay, so I wanted to use the gold clothespins and make some gold ones. Okay, tell me that's not super. <laughs> I love it. I don't have to paint it. I don't have to spray paint it. Nothing. I just worked right on it and kept it pushing. Love it. Okay, so let's get this to focus. Come on. There we go. So there's the gold tag. And then I used one of the rose um, per or the rose beads. It's a seven millimeter. And I had I used my own bead cap, a gold one that I had in my stash, but I used the head pin. And then this is that really pretty gold filigree. I used glossy accent to adhere it to the clothes pin. And then I just used that on top. Is that not super cute? See, I don't I can't add you can't add too much to these because you need to make sure you can do this. So if you add too much stuff, it makes it hard to do that. So I love these, that they're gold. I like the fact that she lets us pick because sometimes I'm not feeling something one time and then I'll look in the store and I'm like, I'm totally feeling it. So I get to go ahead and pick and I love that. <laughs> so here's another one using the other, uh, no, the same filigree piece, but this time I mixed it with bronze and I layered them and I just put a little flat back pearl in the metal and then I use the teal glass beads. And then this one right here is from my stash and so is the daisy spacers. But then, and then also the bead cap is from my stash. And then I just used another gold heart tag. I feel like I need to get more of those. <laughs> but isn't that super? So see, you don't have to do nothing. I love it. You don't gotta add no paper to it. Just work right on it. Here's the ones that I told you you could use as an earring, but I used it on here and it hangs off the back end so that I can hang little charms off of it. Those are the smaller rose pinks, those are the four millimeters. And then that's with the bronze rondelle. And then I use the head pin. Super cute. This one right here I did in red. And what I did on this one is I used this gold filigree earring type piece and then I got the gold heart tags right here and I stuck the heart going the arch that goes this way is under here and then there's another one right here and it goes this way so you only see the ends of the hearts coming out of under I hope that made sense <laughs> and then I just used a red bling from my stash and then I just hung a red one right here it's a seven millimeter Super duper uber bam. Love it. Those are super. I love them. So those are my four little clothes pens. Then I went ahead and made some more angels because I needed to restock on these. So I love that everything that pretty much is here is stuff. This is all butterbe. Nothing is for my stash. Not even the head pins. Nothing. So I just tried to use the beads. I tried not to go into my own stash to change up the colors because I could change up the colors here, but I kind of wanted to keep it with what I had. So of course I used all of the clear air, clear AB teardrops and then the teal green there and then um, the rondelles up top. So I just did those ones in clear. I did these in bronze. Super duper love it. Bronze is one of my favorite metals, so I got to keep stuff like that in stash. And then I wanted to do a dragonfly, so I went ahead and used the two larger sized heels, which is the six millimeter and the seven millimeter. It would have been perfect if there was a five millimeter because the body part you want to have one size below the top one. So I had to skip it because this is no, actually, no, this is six and seven. 
So this could have been a six and this could have been a five. So that's kind of how you want to do that when you're doing these. And I use the head pins, the ones that she carries in her store, and that's how you just create the top part. You just wire wrap the top part. So see, because I made a bunch of these a while back and using pearls, but um, that was not from her store. So I wanted to use what we had here. And mind you, I didn't get um, all of the colors in all of the different sizes. So I just grabbed my top picks and uh, maybe next time I'll grab the other ones. So this is my DT project um, for now. And I just wanted to show you for those of you that are on the bandwagon for some gold, which I totally joined the bandwagon. These are Uber. Tell me they're not. I, I try to tell you, tell me it's not because this is like Uber stinking cute. I love it. Uber. Okay. So this is it. Thank you so much for stopping by and thank every one of you for taking the time to leave me comments. Karen Brake, I love you. You are amazing. Your last comment on my Chunky Charm had me dying and I couldn't respond back because I just want you ladies to know that sometimes, because I don't get to respond back all the time unless there's a question. I always respond back. There's been a couple times I've not been able to respond and that's only because there's a settings that you guys might have that it's not turned on for me to respond. So what it is is when I go to hit reply, it doesn't allow me to leave you um, a message. So please make sure that your settings are open for people to respond back to you. So um, I just want to let you know that because I always respond to questions. And I'm very sorry. There's been a couple that have come through and I wasn't able to respond for that reason alone. And um, so aside from that, I will have Butter Bee Scrap Store listed below so that you can go on and get some of this stuff. Man, this is Uber and the beads. And she has, they're a great price, really. They're really inexpensive. So um, that's it. You guys have an amazing day and I will see you soon. Bye.